Great struggle is required to achieve degrees of enlightenment. Each of you had your own unique difficulties with the heel. For some of you, the challenge was actually academics. When you hear the words magna cum laude, cum laude, you know that's, that's not you. Almost every day I would walk the full length of the hill to fine arts where most of my classes were carrying all of my books because once you walk that far on foot, you're not walking back home. For a lot of you, not all, but, but a lot of you, your hardest struggle was social. Some of you never fit in. You, you were never as cool and as popular as you wanted to be, and it, and it bothers you. So your social struggles here became psychological. Even though you made it up the hill, you carry the baggage of rejection with you. But you're here. Or some of you went through something traumatic. You made it to the top of the hill, but, but not without scars and bruises. Some of you fit in too much. I remember walking across this yard on what seemed to be a random day. My head down, lost in my own world of issues, like many of you do daily. I'm almost at the center of the yard. I raised my head and Muhammad Ali was walking towards me. Time seemed to slow down as his eyes locked on mine and opened wide. He's raised his fist into a quintessential guard. I was game to play along with him, to act as if I was a worthy opponent. What an honor to be challenged by the GOAT the greatest of all time for a brief moment. His face was as serious as if I were Frazier in the Thriller in Manila. I told you, all of my critics, I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. I be starting to listen. I told you today, I'm still the greatest of all time. Never again defeat me. Never again say that I'm going to be defeated. Movements, his movements or flashes of a, of a pass greater than I can imagine. His security let the joke play along for a second before they ushered him away. And I walked away floating like a butterfly. Finally, I thought of Ali in the middle of the yard. In his elder years, drawing from his victories and his losses. At that moment, I realized something new about this, the greatness of Ali and how he carried his crown. I realized that he was transferring something to me on that day. He was transferring the spirit of the fighter in me. He was, he was transferring the spirit of the fighter to me. He was transferring the spirit of the fighter to me. Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined inside of you. God says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Graduating class, hear me well on this day. When you had this day, when you have reached the hilltop and you are deciding on, on next jobs, next steps, careers, further education. You would rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses discipline. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. When I dare to challenge the system that would relegate us to victims and stereotypes with no clear historical backgrounds, no hopes or talents, when I questioned that method of portrayal, a different path opened up for me. The path to my destiny. When God has something for you, it doesn't matter who stands against it. God will move someone that's holding you back away from a door and put someone there who will open it for you. If it's meant for you, I 
I don't know what your future is. But if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Now, this is your time. <laughs>